Hello everyone. Uh, today we will solve the problem count subarrays where max element appears at least k times from the weekly contest 375. So before starting I want to share few things and I feel that is very much important uh, while solving a problem. So before watching any video, not only mine, before watching any video, please try at least for 30 minutes. Try for 30 minutes, try to see few hints still you are not getting the approach then you can come and watch the video solutions i want my viewers to think on their own like if you are uh, regularly watching the videos you will be addicted to that you will see like whenever uh, any any youtubers are uploading the videos you will try to see them and you will try to visualize the things and you will code it yeah that is uh, when you are at beginner level and that is the thing you should do but if you are like not a beginner if you are going if you are like an intermediate level, like if you are doing good, good with the programming, then video solutions are not meant for you. If you are facing real issues or you are able, you you are solving it and you want some other intuitions, how I am solving it, then only you can come and watch the video solution. And I think you have got it. Uh, I don't want my viewers to completely depend on video solutions. So, and I'm starting this video by saying that you have tried for 30 minutes, then we are going to start. So, first we'll understand the question. Question, dekhte, question, I did not understand it in the beginning and I wasted 30 minutes in the contest thinking that how it can be possible with that tough guy Then I re, I re, re, uh, then I went to the question and I read, read, read again. But it was like after 30 minutes I have read it and I could able to solve in the contest but ho jata hai kabhi kabhi. You are given an integer array nums and a positive integer k. Return the number of subarrays with the maximum element of nums. Maximum element of nums, not the subarray. I was thinking about subarray and I was thinking so many different approaches. I started using priority queue and sliding window. Like I have done so many things but after coming here and after watching maximum element of nums I was like shit man what I have done. Maximum element of nums appears at least k times in that subarray. A subarray is continuous sequence of elements within an array, right? I think you understood it. Nums maximum should be in the in the nums, and the nums should appear at least k times. And you need to calculate the subarrays. So when you see subarray problem, like first thing comes into mind is the brute force, which is order of n into n into n solution, order of n cube solution. Let's see like first we will calculate the maximum we will calculate the maximum and i is equals to 0 i less than n j equals to i j less than n and k is equal, i is equals to j is my subarray is my subarray in this we will check how many times my maximum has occurred if it is occurred more than my frequency times more than k times then i will increment my answer and i will return it so it will take order of n cube so is there any way to optimize it yeah there are if you are sliding window if you are seeing sub arrays and if you are seeing k you can think about sliding window or priority queue so mainly these things comes into mind and if you didn't participate in yesterday's contest so there is a good problem like in the sliding window you can go and you can try it out so for now we will see this is a variable window size the size is it will shrink and it will expand based on our requirements we will see with the input first we will start here we have 1 3 2 3 3 here we have calculated the maximum sorry we here we have calculated the maximum equals to 3 and my i and j are at this position now at zeroth index, I am checking. This is my hash map. Think about hash map. And these are my frequency map. Anything. Whatever you name it. Or whatever you use it. At zero. And my here. Sorry. This one frequency is one. One frequency is one. And my i is here. My j is here. My, my max is three. We, we required three's frequency. Now my 3 has occurred one time. We will check. Is my 3 satisfying this k is equals to 2 condition? No, right? We will increment j. Now we have increment j. 2 has occurred once. Still my condition is failing. Now at this position 3 is equals to 2. Yes, my condition got succeeded. 
कंडीशन गॉट सक्सेस सो हाउ मेनी अरेस विल बी देर सो इफ यू सी हियर एट दिस पोजिशन इट गॉट सक्सीडेड इट दिस पोजिशन इट गॉट सक्सीडेड एंड टूवर्ड्स द राइट साइड देर कैन बी सो मेनी एलिमेंट्स बट इज सेंग दैट एटलीस्ट के एलिमेंट्स नीड्स टू बी देर एटलीस्ट के के कैन बी देर के मोर कैन बी देर सो हियर वॉट आई एम डूइंग इज इट दिस पोजिशन इट इज एंडिंग सो माई एन कैन बी माई लेंथ ऑफ द आर ए एन माइनस जे आई एम डूइंग एन माइनस जे दैट मीन्स इफ हियर माई एन इज फाइव फाइव माइनस थ्री विच इज टू सो इफ आई एम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन दिस विल बी माई सब एरे एंड रीचिंग हियर विल बी माई सब एरे इफ माई एन इज सेवन और एट और एनी थिंग और इट विल गो इट विल इंक्रीज लाइक दिस दैट इज वाई एन माइनस जे वी आर डूइंग इट्स सिंपल लाइक इफ यू आर हैविंग अरे लाइक दिस एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर रिमेनिंग ऑल एलिमेंट्स वील कैलकुलेट यूजिंग एन माइनस जे आई थिंक यू गॉट इट नाउ वी विल दिस कंडीशन इज सैटिस्फाइड देन वी विल इंक्रीमेंट माई आई इंक्रीमेंट माई आई माई वन फ्रिक्वेंसी इज डिक्रीज बट इफ यू सी इयर माई थ्री एज अ कट टू टाइम्स देन वी कैन डू एन माइनस जे हियर सो इयर आई हैव एडेड टू इयर आई हैव एडेड टू वी कैन लाइक लूप इट बट डायरेक्टली इफ यू सप्रैक्ट इट वी विल गेट दी आंसर इयर माई जे इज सैटिस्फाइड वी विल इंक्रीमेंट माई आई इफ आई इंक्रीमेंट माई आई माई दिस इज नॉट सैटिस्फाइंग नो वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग द जे माई थ्री एज अकर टू टाइम्स ना एन माइनस जे इट विल बी वन लाइक फाइव माइनस फोर इट विल बी ओनली वन बिकॉज वन एलिमेंट इज लेफ्ट एंड इफ इट सैटिस्फाइड माई आई विल इंक्रीमेंट आई स्टिल इट इज सैटिस्फाइड येस वन सो टोटल वी गॉट सिक्स सो आई थिंक यू गॉट इट सो यू कैन ट्राई विथ फ्यू अदर इनपुट्स एंड यू कैन ट्राई यू कैन ट्राई फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ लेट सी द हाई लेवल ऑफ द कोडिंग पार्ट एंड आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस I recommend you please please try the coding part by yourself. If you couldn't able to write the code, then only you can come and watch the code. And I want to my viewers to be like uh, good problem solvers rather than just memorizing the things. It is not like preparing for JEE or something like that. <laughs> Now here we calculated the maximum element, and we are using the map, and we are incrementing m of v of j. If my frequency is greater. as i discussed there in minus j we are incrementing the answer and after incrementing the answer and i need to decrease my i right as my window size increased i need to shrink the i part so here we are shrinking it i plus plus and j plus plus is normal j plus plus and we are returning the answer and here the time complexity will be i is traveling n times and j is traveling n times so it will be order of n plus n so overall it will be order of n so i think you understood it if you understood it please do like and subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video and one more request uh, in lead code you have upvote button please upvote there so that other students can also benef benefited from this video thank you